Tropical storm Harvey is pummeling southern We're live Texas. here in Houston, where Harvey's rains keep coming. It's not the initial impact, but the flooding. Record shattering fall. rain, massive flooding, families stranded. Waters keep rising. This is just the beginning. Hi, if anybody's out there and can hear us, please help. I need a rescue. These are three kids, no food or water. Do we have anyone in the friendship area? Where's that friendship humble address area. at? What's the humble address where they're trying There's to let the There's been a report get of in. another five foot of water about to pour out of Baker Dam. I-10 Dale. in Normandy, we need help. Families are going under with the we current. Need strong the boats, boats are capsizing. I-10 in Normandy, families are on these boats. They, they need boats under. out there. At they said a white truck that went under the water. So and I'm like, well, it can't be him because he hit into my house. Also, I kept calling his wife, dialing 911, and no response. I kept calling him, no response. Hi, ma'am. This is Texas Game Warden Carmen Ripple. It's my understanding that you guys have called to be evacuated from your residence. Is that correct? Do you know the condition of the water around the house? I don't know. Stand by. We're going to try to get somebody out there to help you. We don't get names. We just get the call. Sometimes that's all you get. A quick two-second, I need help, I need help. And the call hangs up, and that's all you have. The truck had been carried out by the currents of the water and had gone on under the water. Of course, you're still just just praying and hoping that you know it's it's not them or if the truck went over that it, they got out. At midday, the call comes in that there's a a vehicle that's being swept away by water and that the call they can hear screaming and people who are in major distress. For everybody standing around here listening to that call, it's just not easy to process. I mean, you're having to work through something where two people did not make it. And I hear somebody talk about a pastor and his wife who, um, who had been in a vehicle that were swept away. And whether or not those are the same two people, I don't know. Fort Bend deputies are clearing this scene where they recovered earlier today the bodies of a married couple in their 60s. Those two people driving down Pool Hill Road here hit that high water and were submerged. One of the victims was on the phone pleading for help with 911 when the phone went dead. Thank God they were able to, to pull them out, um, you know, so that their bodies just didn't float. It was, it was definitely them, and um, it was uh, just hard, and they just told us, you can't, you can't faint, you can't, you know, you have to be strong, and you're just thinking in that moment, Lord, give me strength, because how are you going to be strong? You're seeing your parents, and um, I couldn't wrap my mind around how this happened. You are under a mandatory evacuation. They don't know what this water is going to do. Uh, it may recede, it may go up. I don't know. I'm not it's an going down quite a bit. Okay, well, I have a boat out front that I can take you. There's other issues involved. Tell me, tell me. Here. Well, I'm a, a cancer patient. Yes, sir. And I'm just post transplant. Yes, sir. I can't be around a bunch of people. So it would be extremely difficult for me to leave right now. Extremely difficult and dangerous for my health. Okay. As is staying. You understand this area that we're working in is below the dams that they've been releasing. As of a few days ago, the intel we had was that they were going to have to release at the current rate for upwards of three weeks. Uh -huh. Okay, with the potential they would have to increase that flow. Okay. As difficult it is for us to leave that house knowing that if that flood or that levee breaks or the rain continues, that more than likely that they are going to be in a really bad spot. I mean, we just have to move on because there, there's so many people to help. Millions waking up to a scene of epic flooding. Never seen anything like this. 50 inches of rain. We need help out here because it's starting to rain and thunder again. 
and we can't take any more Officials rain. are very concerned that the death toll will be rising. Don't take shelter in your attic. Get an ax and break through your roof so rescue workers might see you. There are new concerns over the fallout of a chemical explosion. Harvey continues to wreak climate chaos in Houston. A group of people forming a human chain to try and rescue an elderly man who is being swept away by the floodwaters in his car. Today we'll get to the rest of you. Please, please don't give up on us. I mean, they must be rescuing people in countless countless houses in this neighborhood because we've, we've been hearing this noise for the past couple of hours and it has not stopped and the rain is starting again. really beginning to recede in a number of areas here. We're going to be okay, but it's going to take time to rebuild. Yes, there's a lot of heartbreak right now, but we're Texas. We will help each other. If you need something, call and we'll try to get you whatever help we can. In the fourth largest city in the United States, the results are devastating. The number of people that game wardens have rescued is going to be in the thousands, um, just from Fort Bend County. At the end of the day, when we were finally done, um, of course, we wait for every game warden to come back from their last call. And so things are kind of quieting down a little bit. We're just wrapping up numbers, wrapping up calls. Well, when it's finally time to get in your truck and leave, there's that moment of silence when you just breathe. The actual funeral is going to be at the St. Paul Missionary Church in Brookshire. Yeah, on the night. Yeah, we're doing okay. Uh, just kind of taking it day at a time. And I mean, people have people we don't even know are are helping out. It's really, I mean, it's really emotional. It's really beautiful. I, I don't even know how to really respond to them. These types of tragedies, they pull people together. I mean, the the amount of support that we've gotten people wanting to help from not only all over this nation, but people around the world. I don't have time to sit at home and lie in the bed and cry. I have a mission, I have work to do. You know, we all do, that's the point. <laughs>